In this video, we are going to experiment with one of the latest cool improvement in the latest firmware, which is, in my opinion, the implementation of JavaScript support. So let's go here. And what I'm really excited about, there are modules for bad USB and UART. And we are going to see that together. First, I will proceed with the update of the Flipper Zero. So for this, I will use QFlipper and hit update. Now I'm fetching the firmware and upgrading the Flipper Zero. Let's get back in a moment to see what are like the new capabilities. Now we have updated the Flipper Zero, we are going to get one of the files as a sample. For this, we'll go in the File Explorer, into the SD card, then into the App folder and open the scripts. The latest firmware come with different JavaScript sample and I want to use a UART Echo. This one should display data on your flipper screen. I'm going to show you later. But before, what you need to do is to ensure you have this code on your flipper zero. And maybe you will need to modify the speed here to match the device you target. Here I have modified the UART echo to match my ubiquity speed. In summary, this code set up a serial connection and continuously read byte from the serial board. And if any byte is received, it echoes that byte back and prints its value in exa. Note, this code will run without stopping as long as there is output from the serial, unless you stop it. No, I want to tell you I just use this code to ensure my connection is okay and the code is uh, being set up properly because I was struggling pretty much to establish uh, something due maybe to my wiring. Here is a part where I share my short experiment. So I have looked at all the different samples, especially the ones that interact with serial communication, which are here UART. So I start my script with the same uh, way, using like the serial. Then I set up the speed which is the same here as the Ubiquiti router, which I'm going to use. This will be my target here, where I will connect my Flipper Zero to the UART interface and run the script. So let's continue what the script is doing. So basically, first thing first is going to show on the Flipper Zero screen that the script is starting. So the aim here is to log in to the router with the default credential, which are here UBTN, for both login and password. And then it will press enter with like the root online carriage. And from that on, it will type another command, which is alt. And of course, press enter as well. And this should stop and shut down the router. And it will, of course, finish here with another text being displayed on the Flipper Zero. However, this is not working at all. We know this script is not working. The rotor is not shutting down. Otherwise, I would have be happy to show it to you. No. I wanted to understand what the router is receiving as a command from the Flipper Zero, because I believe it's something malformatted somehow. 
maybe because of the cable or most likely what you are seeing here as a script. It's maybe not done right. Here I'm going to call for your help because it's not working. So if you know or have any idea, let me know and I will be happy to do more tests. So I'm going to share with you one of the tests I've thought about. I'm going to use two flipper zero. The white one will be receiving actually the command sent by the orange one. So on the white one, I will set up the UART terminal with the same speed. So now it's done. And I open the port. So the white one here is listening for any communication and we are going to run the script from the orange one. So I go on script and I run the same script. You could see it was really fast. The orange flipper zero display all the detail. The script ran smoothly as expected, no error. And from the white one, the output is not what I would expect. I would expect actually both login password and then alt on three different lines. But I have none of that. Instead, I have kind of rubbish characters. So I don't know what happened basically because I have the same speed. I have double checked several times and it's not even hexadecimal unless I'm not understanding what I'm doing, which is also possible. But this is here my hypothesis. I'm doing something wrong with the script. As you can see, I'm perfectly able to actually read the data, but I'm not able to write data using this serial function. So if you know, let me know. I will be happy to correct it and show you if I'm able actually to shut down this router or even run different command from the script. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.